How have charter schools done in sort of reaching the needs of children who are really, really uh, greatly in need of extra assistance? Are they better at moving the needle with those students than public schools are? Um, so a couple of answers to that question. When you look at uh, the most sophisticated research studies done on charter schools where you have a control group of students who want to get into a charter school but are unable to because of a wait list, even in those instances you notice that the students in charter schools do better compared to their counterparts in the, in the traditional system. And that's because we're taking kind of, you, yes, you're taking some students who have motivated families, but be that as it may, the charter schools are actually doing a better job of educating those students. The other thing that we've noticed in New Orleans and in um, uh, states like Tennessee that have um, recovery school districts which go after the, the worst performing schools and the neediest students is that charter schools are actually stepping in to meet the needs of those families. Reading is work, but it's rockin' awesome. Rockin' awesome? And these kids say school is fun? Yes. How is it fun to learn? <gasps> they just teach us in a fun way. So you guys look forward to going to school in the morning? Yes. These kids attend one of those new charter schools, free public schools, but their charter lets the school escape the bureaucracy of regular schools, including teachers' union rules. This school enrolls the inner city kids bureaucrats label at risk of failure. But these kids learn. Devin is 100% on top of her game right now. Going to our school is uh, a ticket to educational success. This woman runs several charter schools. All get outstanding test scores. You do this all with the same money the public schools get? We actually do it with less, four and $6,000 less per child.